to launch an amazing car that's called the C5X. Every project is super exciting, but some of them are even more than others, and we have a, a great project to launch today. We are capable, credible, and also very motivated to introduce a D-segment saloon. C5X is meant to be an innovative, ambitious, progressive answer in a Citroën DNA to the need of high-quality touring. This is a combination of a high level of comfort, but also sound management. We added to this a lot of roominess and a very, very modern and zen design. The first thing that makes the C5X a true Citroën in terms of philosophy is, of course, the silhouette. It's in our DNA to really try to make silhouettes that are recognizable, unique, and we definitely do it with the C5X. This will surprise and also delight the customers who for too long have been driving very conventional and classic cars. We'll introduce C5X in the latter part of the year in Western Europe, China, but other countries like Australia or Japan, for example. We're optimistic about the future. to launch an amazing car that's called the C5X. Uh, great project that we've been working on for a long time, so we're super excited. To design a car is a long process, so the launch is always the highlight of that process. Now, every project is super exciting, but some of them are even more than others, and we have a, a great project to launch today. But we're in Paris for the launch of a new Citroën, and it's always, of course, an exciting moment. But first of all, I think we can talk about proportions. You have a car with incredible proportions and a silhouette that will be really recognizable on the road. And this is truly part of our DNA. We always try to look for silhouettes that don't look like anything else that you see on the road. We have something here that really stands out and that will be unique for a long time. A vehicle that is extremely dynamic, very stretched. It's a bit higher off the ground. The front face is a new architecture that we have presented with the new C4. So you have the chrome bars becoming new DRI and creating a really interesting night design on the outside. Uh, a lot of status, it looks very wide, very low. Uh, it's a silhouette, a bit like the C4 as well, that uh, is unique through its stance on the road. 
well, again, through its proportions, through, through its architecture that is quite unique already, you have a command position that is a bit higher. You have big wheels that brings you the car a bit higher off the ground. Then the silhouette is very long, 4.8 meters, very stretched, and that gives you the elegance. And of course, the form language that is purely Citroën, you know, we're using uh, a form language that is extremely round, sections that are completely full. We replace lines by muscles at Citroën, but nevertheless, we keep the car very athletic and very light. All right. We don't really do what we call retro design, but we can definitely think of cars of the past that uh, were in this kind of segment and that were extremely unique as well through their silhouette, things that we still recognize as Citroën today. So this was our goal, definitely. And then, you know, this is the car you want to drive for long trips because it brings you the perfect comfort you can imagine in the Citroën of that segment. But well, the one thing we can do in terms of design for the handling and the comfort on the road is really aerodynamic. So it's a lot of time spent in a wind tunnel to make sure that we reach the right aerodynamic. And the aerodynamic really influences, of course, the way the car handles on the road. So the first thing that makes the C5X a true Citroën in terms of philosophy is, of course, the silhouette. It's in our DNA to really try to make silhouettes that are recognizable, unique, and we definitely do it with the C5X. Now, of course, in terms of form language, front ar architecture, graphics, you have something that is totally in line with what we have shown before, and it's an evolution towards the future, and that is recognizable as a Citroën. The front architecture, probably the most important part after the silhouette and the proportions. The front architecture is an evolution of what we have shown with the new C4. So you have the two chevrons becoming chrome bars and then DRL in the corners. They create this interesting triangle in the outside of the bumper that gives width to the car, that gives status to the car, because especially that they're positioned quite low and it really gives this strong, strong impression of the front end. Well, exciting. You know, when you come to a new brand, of course, there's always projects that you discover that are pretty much finished. Some others that you have to uh, keep going. Uh, it's been really uh, an amazing two years already. We have really good products uh, coming on the road. And then this is one, one of them, of course. Uh, I think there's a good vibe and we know where we go. We know where we are. We know where we go. And this is the most important. It's been almost 30 months now that I'm at Citroën and you know, it, uh, it's an amazing brand first, first of all. And uh, I work in a very, very creative environment, probably the most creative I've worked in, uh, in all my life. So uh, we're always pushing the envelope and we see it with this project uh, again. Uh, we're always trying to make something uh, unique at Citroën. Uh, we're not just there to put a bit more water in the soup. We're always trying to push as far as we can. And this is for a designer, it's extremely exciting, so super happy to be there. And we're working on great projects that will make it very soon. So, today we're at an amazing place in the western suburbs of Paris. A place known for forward-looking, technical, highly modern and very progressive architecture. Something which really resonates with Citroën, where we like technology, but technology with a purpose, a progressist progressive mindset, and as well, a technology that can give you serenity. So that's a perfect place for us to launch a new car. For the last five years, Citroën has put itself back into a very competitive position in the automotive market, rejuvenating the lineup, introducing new technology. So today we're here to make a statement that we are capable, credible, and also very motivated to introduce a D-segment saloon. So it's a very important moment in the Citroën brand history today. So C5X is an answer to, we believe, a very deep and important urge for many customers, which I'd like to call high-class touring. The ability to travel long distance in very technological, satisfying, comfortable environments and discover new worlds. So 
We wanted to address that segment in a typical Citroën way. Take the customer needs and create a solution that would stand out. When you look at C5X, you realize the posture is different. The styling is absolutely amazing. If you are to sit inside, you'll discover amazing comfort. So it's a very Citroën-inspired, highly ambitious answer to the expectation for high-class touring. The C5X will provide you with a very innovative posture, large wheels, a slightly up the road position in an extremely fluid and modern design. It's based on a high level of technology going from suspensions, progressive hydraulic cushions with uh, active damping, seats, the Citroën Advanced Comfort seats, sound management, and obviously the latest technology of powertrain with um, plug-in hybrid technology. We wanted to ensure that you have a very zen experience when you either drive or are driven within C5X. So this is a combination of a high level of comfort, typical Citroën DNA, suspension seats, but also sound management. We added to this a lot of roominess and a very, very modern and zen design. So this will enable you to enjoy your journey in the best possible conditions. Citroën has been known for decades for being the innovator in terms of car suspensions. In the last five, six years, we've introduced double hydraulic cushion, which enable you to absorb the small irregularities of a road and travel in great comfort. So in this particular C5X edition, we're adding to this active suspension. So you have a combination of double hydraulic cushion and active suspension, which will give you what we believe to be the best level of comfort and precision. C5X is meant to be an innovative, ambitious, progressive answer in a Citroën DNA to the need of high quality touring. So we believe this will surprise and also delight the customers who for too long have been driving very conventional and classic cars. So we really look forward to this encounter between innovation and high expectations. We'll introduce C5X in the latter part of the year in Western Europe, China, but other countries like Australia or Japan, for example. And we really look forward to this particular unique driving experience. In the next short to midterm, we'll consolidate our position in Europe, where we've been doing exceptional growth over the last five, six years. This includes the launch of a new C4 and the launch of C5X. We'll be uh, going back into a growth pattern in China and C5X will be an engine of growth. At the same time, we'll be expanding our boundaries, be it in South America, in India, Middle East and Africa with introduction of various new products. Yeah, I've had the privilege of being in charge of Citroën brand for the last 15 months. And obviously Citroën is a unique brand and it's a particular privilege to be in charge of it. It's a brand made of audacity, innovation, comfort and well-being, and beyond that, humanity and care. So this has been a great pleasure and a real bliss. Obviously, most of these 15 months have been about the pandemic. So this has impacted on our daily business. We've been able to protect our future plans, which is a really great result. And also during 2020, we introduced electrification on many of our vehicles. So I would say what has been a very challenging time for all of us, has also proven to be a, a driver of innovation and reinvention of the transportation industry for Citroën. So we're optimistic about the future.